Aluminum is Walter and welcome back to Samurai Jack Season 5 Episode 3 uh, XC4 um, Now this is a weird thing because I've been looking for uh, this episode since like 12am in your time but I was like 1pm my time and uh, yeah I couldn't really find it couldn't really find anywhere to watch it so uh, just gonna watch it on YouTube because YouTube has it for some strange reason people uploaded it um, I might include the channel's name where I got it from so you guys can check out their channel or whatever and see their stuff as well so anyway uh, without further ado let's go uh, it's gonna be the um, the cold opening in so let's go 50 years have passed Ah, oh, the animation is still beautiful though. Ah, uh, that's, that's the one constant thing you'll be hearing me talk about, is the animation. I just love it. I love it so much. I love the little breath becoming Afu, Aku, um, reflecting that uh, he's still like haunted by Aku's actions. Hope is lost. Nah, it is a man. Samurai Jack. Yeah, that epic flash of lightning right there is uh, awesome. I like the text opening though. Samurai Jack. That's the epic kind. Oh, look at that. It's not photorealistic or anything, but it's just awesome. You can see the blood coming in. Oh, so cool. So it's just floating down the river. Oh, and every river has a waterfall. Here we go. Oh, it looks like a dolphin. <laughs> there. Oh, oh. It's getting faster. Oh, there we go. Bam! Oh, he's, he's lucky. That was lucky. That's something of a, a cartoon trope, I think. Because when you land that hard, you're more likely to hit the um, hit the bed of the river. So that's something you gotta be careful when you're like going off a waterfall. Try to keep on the stream of the waterfall. Oh, that's some nice um, technological things that we are uh, introducing and see. As I said. It's kind of like the contrast that is in uh, Samurai Jack. See, he doesn't have the armor now, if you notice, because like he's injured and everything. But when he passed by, there's um, a bridge which is very technological. And uh, that did that frog just talk? <laughs> yeah, I know some animals talked in the old uh, the old series as well, but. You know, we're never introduced to that in this uh, this time around. Uh, you know, the, even the, in the last episode, it was just uh, the wolf who was supposed to reflect Jack's journey. Uh, some of you don't like me talking throughout, but I really love talking about this stuff because you know, it just it's just very interesting to see these this kind of animation come back into the modern world. Because this is very much the old animation of like 2005 as well, coming into the modern times of 2017, and you know showing that it can progress, but at the same time keep what was good about the old episodes. And uh, some of you even don't like me bringing up my heritage, and I'm like, why not? Like, if I can bring something newer say uh, you know how this reflects onto my culture like uh, my religion or you know those uh, Chinese traditions that come into play in this one as well because remember the Japanese branched from China uh, you know they they were just uh, you know more opposive to the China government so they created their own government 
but they still uh, are on the Chinese alphabets. If you notice the Japanese, it's very much like uh, Chinese alphabets. Ah, oh, that must hurt. Oh, fuck. I'm quite a squeamish guy when it comes to like needles or sharp things. Oh, fuck, man. Ooh. Hmm. Yikes. Oh, man. He, he's he's got to get some treatment before, you know, the wound gets septic and you can die from that. Um, that's not something that uh, you can play with. In the in the wild, if you're even cut a little bit, like paper cut, you 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 can't go anywhere. You need to you need to wrap the wound. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a weird ass drawing on Jack. Yeah, this is this is a guilty conscience, most likely. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he never killed before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, this is kind of reminding me of uh, Jekyll and Hyde as well, and uh, Macbeth as well when uh, he killed um, uh, when he killed the the real king and kind of like just surpassed it. I was like, no, no, I'm the real king. But then you know, his guilty conscience kept haunting him. So, I I like that they, you know, they extort the facial expressions and everything. They they make it look. They kind of exaggerate them if I if I'm putting it in that way, because it's like he has the sharp teeth and everything, and he looks kind of like a um, glowing uh, glowing rock there. Yeah, that's the wolf that uh, reflected him as well. The last episode, uh, they they're both they're both bleeding and uh, wounded and everything. Ah oh, man, don't sleep on a wolf, man. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? Wait, did the wolf bring him to s somewhere else? <laughs> but it's just a flashback. Oh, oh man, I love the updated animation on uh, the parents. Ah, uh, it's so Japanese. Hmm. Those are like sakura flowers, I'm gonna guess. And these type of uh, paladins are very, um, very common in uh, Asian lifestyles. Like in Avatar: The Last Airbender, you might have noticed that uh, he had uh, uh, Zuko had a paladin as well, and that was because uh, you know he's royalty. And uh, normally in China, it's um, the the royalty who gets that, and uh, it's true. It's very true. Uh, his uh, wounds have healed up. I must say, the the wolf is pretty smart. Cause I'm thinking, the wolf must have like let him use the leaves. Cause that's something very interesting about the wild as well. Like, you have um medicinal plants and of course you need to know which are the medicinal plants nice so they're just friends now <laughs> I like that we have a wolf buddy now Jack <laughs> oh that's so cute nice <laughs> I was expecting that he was like th throw the bone and then he's just like oh <laughs> they both burp. Uh. 
Yeah, licking actually helps because that's your own enzymes helping to fight. Having to fight the wound. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just taken back by the, the wolf, just like being angered by him throwing water on the wolf. Because that's scary when a wolf just like is very animalistic. Well, you know, normally wolves are animalistic, but this wolf seems to be connected to Jack in some way. Uh, I still love the animation. I can't. I can't get over it. If you guys like want me to stop talking about the animation, I can't. Okay, I'm so impressed. Well, see ya. <laughs> that must be like what the wolf is thinking. Wolf was probably like, yeah, you know, we had fun and we helped each other get better together, but now is the time to go. <laughs> oh, that's, that's some bloody blood. And of course, we wouldn't have gotten this type of flashback in the old uh, series as well. But I think that kind of commentary is kind of like hammered in too much. I mean, we already know it's gonna be more adult because it's from Adult Swim as well. Uh, but they already mentioned that it's gonna be more R related, more, you know. Superman! <laughs> I was fully expecting it to go that way. Like, I am Superman! <laughs> oh, here comes Azula's passe! <laughs> This is what I would call call these guys now, because like the daughters of Aku is still like their names and all, but it's still Azula voicing the mother or the mother figure in this case. Yeah, I, I know. I heard what she said. She said death is failure, and um, n well, in Japanese culture, I believe it's uh, like. Um, technically an escape because you know like in World War 2 you know the commanders couldn't really surrender because you know they have the most secrets and the most like uh, governmental because they work closely with the government and all that oh. uh, so you know they would normally do seppuku which is like they'll, they'll kill themselves or you know there's uh, kamikaze pilots in those days as well so they wouldn't like when they were shot in the sky like the fighter pilots and all that they would just you know like just jump down to smash on the like battleships or whatever that was nearby it's hard to know if uh, Azula is doing these daughters of Aku's voices as well so I might double check because it sounds a bit like her but it's a little uh, more softer in a way uh, that's the um, uh, technological bridge again she sees the blood yep Well, how would you know, you know? <laughs> I mean, it could be another guy, like, walking around wounded. I mean, you know, so far we've only seen Jack, but... It could be a possibility. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> that was loud. Oh, kids, okay, that... Oh, I mean, well, you know, I thought it was them, but then it was like, no, it's just a forward. Meaning they're, they're just gonna go onto land and look who did, who stepped on a twig. It's a deer! <laughs> it's a deer. <laughs> it's Bambi. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh no, it's a wolf. It's the wolf, right? Oh, it's uh, uh, the father. The father, dear. <laughs> really? No, it's just, it's just um, a doe and uh, well, I forgot the meal of doe, a deer now. I I don't know man. <laughs> I I only remember duo for some reason. Oh buck, right? Sorry. <laughs> there we go. A clue. Now there's only six daughters left because he killed uh, one daughter, so there's six daughters left. That it used to be seven daughters of a clue. Now it's six daughters of clue. Hmm. Fine looking daughters of a coup, if I might say. <laughs> and I'm curious to know, is that really a costume? Because like, for me, we, we, we saw the mother getting into a costume, but we never saw them get into a costume. So I'm like, is it really a costume? Oh, the samurai has uh, revealed himself. Oh, that snow. It's so beautiful. It really feels like it's snowing as well. Like the misty backgrounds. Oh, it's so cool. I'm such a geek when it comes to these types of animations. Oh, look at that. Snow on the trees and everything. So you can turn. Ah, uh, look at that, it just blends into the background, supposedly because the snow is covering the tree and now it's pitch white <laughs> I wonder what happened to his robes as well, like that's one question like nobody's really asking so I'm gonna ask it like what happened to his uh, traditional kimono robe? Oh, he killed another one, and then there was five. Oh shit! Nice. And then there was four, and then there were four. Sorry. Uh, without the trees are all white. That's cool. That means the, the, the snow is getting really thick. Oh, I love that. Nice. Oh, it was just a fog. Oh, that's so awesome. So that means like they couldn't see each other as well. Because that's one of the tactics as well in like war. Like that's why there were smoke bombs. So that uh, neither side could see each other. All they had to go f for was their sense of uh, hearing and smell and uh, you know their other senses apart from uh, sight. Oh right in the middle oh she just takes it out and then there were three man they're going really fast though I remember the first loss of Samurai Jack was only in the last episode and uh, we've never really seen that except for some of the episodes where he had to fight like really strong um, really strong gardens of the um, time portals and everything so we've never really seen him lose to the minions of Aku is what I'm saying oh this is just a badass fight sequence now look at that yeah. armed with only a bat you okay there Jack <laughs> need some water <laughs> need some rest 
Oh, I like that. I I know it's the end sequence as well. Like it, it's just it's his eyes looking like mm, gonna get you. Like that the frame uh, moves up as well. It's pretty cool. It's just awesome to see the, the animation and play. End of the line, Jack. You have to fight them all. Oh, look at that. The snowy mountains. Oh, nice. But also quite, you know, foolish if I might say, because like, hand-to-hand -hand combat is good, but it's also good to have a weapon, you know? As they say, you know, don't fight in a gunfight. <laughs> like, don't do hand-to-hand -hand combat in a gunfight. Oh, that's his, like, martial arts skill coming in right now. Oh, <laughs> he just punched her and broke her neck. You could hear it too. Oh, so good. Come here! Oh, I thought he's gonna do the um, uh, scorpion uh, move there. Come here! And they swing together. Is he gonna save her? Yeah, it sounds a bit like um, grey. <laughs> this is like shut up <laughs> nice uh, look at that visual cause all below him is just um, the t the uh, the um, empty trees and all that and talk about karma like once he let go of her like he falls uh, down as well Oh, that was a really badass um, episode. Hold on, just let me look who's got the um, voice for the Daughters of Aku. Uh, yeah. It's uh, forward. Yep, yep. Oh, Ashi, Terra Strong. Okay. Alright. Uh, what's wrong? It's Terra Strong this time. Um, yeah, okay. I was totally wrong. Um, but anyway. <laughs> oh, this is, um, this is not the episode I was expecting, but it was, uh, it was an episode that let you continue on Jack's journey and I think that's something that's going to be reoccurring in these type of episodes so it's, I don't really want to say filler episodes but I think it's mostly going to be filler 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 and I think like it's going to be him and the, um, the girl who is Ashi I think uh, you know voiced by Tara Strong um, who does really good job of uh, impersonating um, uh, great Delisle, if I might say so myself, because I was like, that does sound a bit like Great Delisle. I, I can't put my finger on it. Maybe because like she's worked together with Great Delisle as well, and you know picked up some of her, um, you know mannerisms and the way she speaks. Uh, but yeah, this this was a really good episode, and uh, I hope that uh, they do more character building. Hopefully, you know we haven't that much of it is more of the adventure kind of feel I'm feeling that uh, the first episode is really good because you know we see him back in action uh, we saw him back in action in the second episode as well 
uh, this time you know it's more chilled out because he's hurt of course and then it's more of him fighting against the, the, the daughters of Pooh uh, so now there's probably two left if you know because uh, two fell down uh, so either there'll be two daughters of a cool left or one daughter of a cool left because that seems to be the way they want to make it go uh, they want to use the cult as much as possible to fight against um, Jack um, I'm thinking my predictions for the next episode would be next episodes I might say uh, would be him trying to look for his sword again maybe and uh, maybe finding it somewhere um, or on someone huh? uh, maybe a villain has it um, and then uh, maybe he's gonna meet up with Aku again uh, you know fight him uh, my theory is is that there's one final portal that is not really in good shape but it could work but Jack doesn't know and he's gonna meet up with the uh, Scotsman definitely played by Jean Yamajo again as we saw in the trailers uh, so so many of them and um, we're gonna see I, I ho hope we see the samurai that he tried to to teach uh, in the old series as well um, the, the guy who was like Samurai Jack you got a CD, I can watch, you know, that Chris Tucker type um, samurai that he met up with. Um, I hope that we see some of the old characters, but if we don't, uh, if we just see the Scotsman, I think we'd be fine with it. Um, and of course, Aku is definitely going to be in it because he's the omniscient, omnipotent uh, being that is definitely going to be in the series. Uh, all throughout and uh, I think my personal opinion is that the uh, mother of the daughters of Aku is going to be in play as well after finding out she has lost at least five daughters you know of herself so that's going to be something emotional I hope uh, so yeah that's about it guys I'm sorry I went on a ramble for uh, the last part there but uh, anyway, that's about it and I will see you um, on Monday. See you then.